A lot of you may be heading to public pools and beaches this summer only to find there aren't enough lifeguards to open them up. The need is so great that cities across the country are bumping up salaries and offering big bonuses. Morgan Chesky now on what's behind the shortage. In the blistering Texas heat, Sweet. these teams are diving in. They're training to save lives as the nation now faces a dire shortage of lifeguards. In Austin, they have fewer than half of the 750 they need. Jody Jay is the city's assistant director of Parks and Recreation. She says the pressure's on to safely staff dozens of public pools for families counting on inexpensive summer fun. In a perfect world, you'd have 34 pools open. Right. How many are you prepared to open now? We're looking at having 15 pools open. The American Lifeguard Association says the shortage could close at least a third of the nation's 309,000 public pools. And it could mean fewer eyes on beaches, too. So where did all the lifeguards go? When pools shut down during the pandemic, many didn't keep up with the required training. Other workers went elsewhere. And now with the strongest job market in years, it often comes down to who's offering the best pay. How are you trying to sweeten the deal? Our lifeguards make anywhere between 16 and $19 an hour. We also have a $1,250 worth of bonuses. Across the country, other communities are also ramping up recruiting efforts. Down south in Mobile, Alabama. If they pay for the um, training session, we will give them the money back at the end of the season. In the heartland, Cincinnati's offering a $2,000 bonus for lifeguards who stay through the summer. So we're trying to encourage people, seniors, young people, all ages, if you can swim, come and get certified as a lifeguard. Out west in Phoenix, they offered a $2,500 bonus to early season hires. Back in Texas, Barton Springs Pool is one of Austin's biggest tourist attractions. Its hours of operation had been temporarily cut back. It's kind of hard to plan around it. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's disappointing. Aquatic supervisor DeAndre Kane says staff is now working overtime to fill the need. What's the plan? The plan is to train, 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 train. We're going to keep advertising. Fingers crossed, prayers up. I think we're going to be able to do it. Cities hoping for a rebound to keep a summer tradition going strong. There's a new twist tonight in an apparent murder case in Wisconsin. A retired judge was shot and killed at his home yesterday. The 56-year-old suspect is in critical condition after a self-inflicted gunshot wound.